my name is Darlene Hoskins Mackenzie. I am a Bidjigal, Gunungara, Yuan woman. I am a traditional owner for this country that you stand on, Eora Nation. Today you gather here to address issues of national and international concern. In particular, the rights of Indigenous peoples. In particular, the rights of asylum seekers. In particular, the Ruhr Nation desecration of Aboriginal lands across this country. By Gina Reinhardt and her co's. Today I'd like to welcome everybody to Eora Country. Get him, get him! Yay. He loves it, he loves it. Over stay all the way. Yes. 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 A good spanking. A good spank. Yay. 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 Oh, be careful. Whack him hard. He's been a naughty boy. Let's drop the debts and it will be alright. Can we sing that? Yeah, come on, one love. One, one heart. One heart. One heart. Let's drop the debt. Let's drop the debt. It will be alright. That's good. One love, one heart. One heart. One heart. Drop the debt. Let's drop the debt and it will be alright. of all of us who want to make the world a better place is not actually capitalism or conservatism. Our true enemy is cynicism. It's the cynicism that we see in the right-wing press. It's the cynicism uh, that we hear on the internet. It's completely outrageous. Those people who are attacking intelligent young women, they're doing it because they are the absolute opposite of an intelligent young woman. They're the complete opposite in all terms. We've got to stand up and make people understand that freedom of speech is not freedom to abuse. They are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. But the cynicism that is our greatest enemy, the cynicism that is our greatest enemy is our own cynicism. Our own sense that nothing will ever change. Our own feeling that nobody else gives a shit. Our own idea that everybody else is against us. That's why Gina Reinhardt wants to own newspapers, so she can drip that cynicism into our, make you feel that you're alone. But today proves that you're not alone. And I'm fortunate to travel around your country and meet people just like you every night who give me confidence that the people of Australia are not going to go through this dark time in their history without fighting back. That's what encourages me to say. I keep faith in every single one of you, yeah! <laughs> Get that nappy off and show us your budgie smugglers. <laughs> <laughs>